this is uh, Jeremiah O'Neill, and we are now on uh, episode number six. So we're going to continue. Okay, so. Talk to this person again. Meetings, friend. And we're just going to speed through this. I don't think there's anything that's uh, remotely interesting with this conversation. Something about uh, uh, some cave or something. I don't know. Um, okay, goodbye. And uh, we're going to collect the. Uh, bread because uh, that keeps you alive, keeps me alive, keeps this guy alive. Um, and an iron dagger. Auto run just uh, activated again and we're going to go out here. Um, and I need to talk to this guy. If this happens. Again, I don't think anything remotely interesting is going to happen. But he does give us some uh, yeah. some good stuff. This is the guild, and I am Pertis. Really? Thank you. Glad to meet you. Yeah, something about dark elves. You know, the uh, diminished ship. You want poof? And, uh, good. So we are going to equip this, and we are going to equip this, and we are ready. So I can start tacking things. So I figure out, there we go. So we're going to take a lot of barrels, um, know what this is. Take all. Basically, if it's not nailed down, we're taking it. What's uh, that? Anything here that I can take? Whoever the decanter is, I don't know what that is. The goblet. Goblet. Oh, good. Good thinking there, uh, Curtis, whatever your name is. There we go. Get my way. If I can attack the bucket. <laughs> Just book it. Getting slashed. And I think we, uh, well, we missed this. Come on, we need all the goblets. Not these things are just spawning back in or what. Um, Alright. Pretty cool. That was exciting. And I'm just gonna hack and smash all this stuff. Eat bread, okay. Oh, I see he's eating bread. I don't know. It's like, yum, yum, yum. Attack, attack, yum, yum. Alright. Shield. Nothing in there. Exit. I just want to go back here and make sure. Kill you. <laughs> uh, no, we won't do that. Uh, I don't know. Nothing happens. Wow, who was that? Oh, you're freaking out. Um. All right, let's get out of here. 
And then we want to frequently save. That was another tip. Game saved. Why can't I save them? There's tab to compass to show the map. Overlay. Yeah, we get that. So that's the map right here. So this is Guild Hall. After this, so let's see where the blacksmith is first. Oh, never mind. No, just give me a map. Okay, I, I don't know. I'll go in the opposite direction of the blacksmith when I come to it. I'm gonna scour the lands and destroy all of the barrels. Here's some. What are you guys doing here? Looking around, I'm looking for barrels. That's the good hall we were just at. It's like Half Life on steroids. If you're ever wondering what's up uh, that little trail, um, absolutely nothing's up that trail. Nothing exciting whatsoever was up at that trail. Um, it's that guy, he's just walking around. Anything up here? There's a jail. Looking on the mini map, there's a jail the, that I just passed. Um, so maybe there's some uh, interesting things that go on in there. Um, those are just stones. Just stones, stones. Um, where are all the barrels? Uh, they're here somewhere. I don't know, did I mention that uh, walkthrough I'm reading through? So this is all based on walkthrough. It's, uh, this is a 
you know, sounds like this is a fairly short game. Um, I know a lot of people don't have any patience for it because it was just, uh, apparently it's supposed to be really, you know, bland, really dull. And, but, you know, I just figure, you know, since it's a short game and I can play through it and, you know, and reach the end, then it'd be kind of interesting thing. <laughs> He's gonna know what it's all about. Right now, it's just about collecting gold. Because we'll probably be buying stuff with that. Um, it's probably a lot more productive than killing a, a million uh, monsters, maybe. I imagine this game will have a lot of that. Because I think there's a huge leveling system. That's why I never really liked about World of Warcraft, is, you know. For the most most part, you know, when you're doing those um, those quests, I mean, the game could just you know simply just say you know put down the game and come back after three months because it's just you know that's it's like kill you know eight of these things and run through this that just takes like a five minutes or so to do. And, you know, I'd rather just, you know, just put down the game and, you know, have the quest, uh, finish itself up. But, um, and I know there's, you know, there's instances, but, like, you know, come on. I would like that, yep. This is supposed to be the closest thing to um, a Morrowind game that you can get off the uh, Android. And the NVIDIA does have the ability to um, stream games, which is something I might try. Um, you can either you know, buy a subscription to do it, or you can get a really beefy uh, system with your uh, hardware and uh, build a streaming system. So. I guess it would really depend if I, you know, I guess both, both, uh, are going to require, um, internet, and maybe the streaming PC is something that you can just put on, you know, you have to get, get running off a laptop, then you could just run the laptop, but then, I mean, if you're going to do that, just play the game off the laptop. Either way, you're just going to need Wi-Fi. Um, and so what I've heard is that you can do, you can stream Wi-Fi through like a, like a Barnes and Noble. You know, they might have a, you know, like, what's that, a Barnes and Noble, uh, Amazon, I think it is. Um, those bookstores. Or even like a Starbucks. So... In their demonstration, they were showing the uh, Barnes and Noble, and they were streaming a, a game through that through their network. Um, who knows how much uh, how much bandwidth that was taking on their network? Wonder, wonder how many people were you know kind of itching their head, you know, wondering why their systems were so s slow. Because I imagine, I mean, if they don't have a really good tech guy who's uh, setting up the system and making sure that the correct systems are getting enough bandwidth and the other, you know, guest systems, you know, like somebody's um, NVIDIA is getting just, just barely enough. I mean, not, not so much where it's, it's hurting, but, you know, just barely enough um, to be able to pull email you know, maybe watch a video or two, but that's it. Because otherwise, I mean, the systems, they're, you know, they're, they have a primary purpose of uh, selling books. You know, cash registers, all those systems, I'm sure, have some internet connection. But, um, you know, maybe they can afford it, maybe they can afford a, a huge, uh, you know, really good uh, ISP. Who 
knows what they're using. Probably, you know, certainly not the out dial up, if there's even exists, and not, um, not like a 56k modem or a cable line. DSL. And, you know, like ISDN or uh, T1, T3. But, um. I took all those classes, you know, two, in 2009, so I'm uh, a bit rusty on the technology. Um. But, yeah, so I don't know if there's any more barrels. I kind of wasn't really uh, focusing on looking at for barrels um, but the guy does say that I need barrels and it's just yeah that's a guild hall um, I mean I got some I've been here I, I mean I remember this I thought I was going through like the uh, outstretches of this map It's a smithery. There's uh, this stuff. Are these barrels? Are these kind of barrels? Oop. Let's find out. Yeah, those are barrels. So, chicken is just uh, who needs to. Uh, we don't need to kill it. We just need to do that, see. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah. And now I know you can't kill these guys. Like I can't just you know, make a mistake like in any other game and whack this guy and, you know, have, you know, pretty much go on, you know, a separate adventure of, you know, what to do with the guards and stuff. Um, so that's good. I mean, that's really good. Um, might be, you know, might, maybe, uh, when I, uh, what's this, this guy? For that thing. <laughs> um, oh, nice! I can't walk around there. It's like a huge hit box right there. <laughs> huge, uh, I guess, yeah, hit box, collision box. Take that stuff. Game really needs an auto pickup. <laughs> really needs auto pickup. I guess they figure if you're uh, willing to play this game, then you know you're willing to uh, press all the buttons as well. So, you know, not to complain or anything. It's definitely nice, you know, finally be able being able to uh, play a game like this on a device, a uh, portable device. Uh, I can tell you one thing this uh, repeating music is starting to give me a headache really starting to give me a headache How many times I've uh, listened to the uh, same uh, measure? Is that is that what it's called a measure when it's a uh, uh, sheet of, of uh, music? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows?
Yeah. And some. I think after I find all these barrels, I mean, if, even if I do find find all the barrels, I'm just going to call it an episode because, I mean, this is really, this has got to be really tedious looking at this. I mean, I may have uh, had some interesting, you know, just, you know, things to talk about, but, uh, just, you know, passing the time and all and whatnot, but, uh, this is really tedious, just looking for barrels. It's just... And I know, you know, it's part of, you know, 